Hey, quick question. I got two long time well established products, ran out of stock on one and um, having a hard time restarting the traffic. I mean, it was, it was something like 15 or 20 a day before it ran out. And uh, someone had suggested combining the two together to, to get the benefit of both traffic. Um, Combined meaning uh, parent child? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. First off, I, I've never combined them. Or I, I don't think I've combined them after the fact. Um, but would you recommend doing that for the mutually it, beneficial traffic? It can work. That, that that can work pretty well. Just make sure that they're, you know, pretty related. Otherwise, Amazon can nail you. They're, they're kind of cracking down on that whole child parents thing. because yeah, They're brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then no problem. I, I always say if you can make a product, a variation product, do it. Um, pretty much, I think like 95% of our catalog are variations. And I tell people when they're creating their products, make it a variation from the beginning, just like a parent and a single child. Um, just because that gives you a lot more flexibility in the future. Um, and it's great for cross promotion. So, you know, if you're like selling, say, um, you know, a, a handbag and it's green, it's the only one you got, you know, I mean, guess that's an easy one. Cause uh, you know, cause uh, those, you know, things like that would normally come in colors, but something that maybe not wouldn't normally come in a different color or different style, something like that. It still might be a good idea to do those variations so that you can easily tack the new ones on later on. You can do it after the fact. It's just a little more messy. Um, but I definitely suggest uh, trying that. Um, and the thing is, is when you promote that listing though, um, if you have a parent child um, product, what a lot of people kind of miss is they uh, try to promote all the, all the children at one time. That's not what you want to do. You want to pick the one that converts the best or that sells the best. You, uh, either one, uh, usually the one that converts the best sells the best. So that's not an easy, or that's an easy choice. Um, but you want to take, take the one that's, um, that's converting or selling the best and just promote that one and just rank for that one. Because that what'll happen is just by um, having that, that relationship, the other variations will automatically get ranked and get pulled up kind of, you know, it's like, it's like pushing a, a you know, when you're a kid, you push the, push your uh, buddy up into the tree house and then they reach down and pull you up. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best way I can, I, I can explain it is, you know, you, you, you bring the other variations with you, but you want to concentrate Rising on tide raises all ships. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Yeah, because that, that one variation then will, yeah, will, uh, you know, want to concentrate on that one variation because if you spread your marketing out over all those, those child items, um, then it's going to dilute that marketing. So and it's great to right. talk to you, Jonathan. <laughs> I've only chatted with you before. Oh yeah. A thousand text messages. Hey, right. <laughs> That's all right. Thanks, uh, man. Hey, no problem. Great talking to you.